वेलकम टू न्यूज लॉन्ड्री छोटा हफ्ता फॉर द फुल एपिसोड सब्सक्राइब बिकॉज इट इज बिहाइंड द पे वॉल एंड ओनली सब्सक्राइबर्स गेट एक्सेस टू अनकट कंप्लीट कॉन्टेंट न्यूज लॉन्ड्री हफ्ता इज आ वीकली रैप of all that made the news all that didn't and all that should have and all that shouldn't have we agree we disagree we critique and occasionally we beat each other up but it's all good fun subscribe this is a news laundry podcast and you're listening to nl hafta angrez apna lagan and news laundry apna hafta kabhi nahi chhodte when the public pays the public is served when corporations and advertisers pay they are served but sometimes when crowd funded subscription driven models exist they can fall prey to some horrible problems which have been alerted to us by alert subscriber prateek sachan who's written a very long mail about the dangers of subscription driven models and he's given some examples so that mail is an interesting one which i shall read but until we oh, reach that stage of that danger do subscribe and support independent media because it is still better than advertisers having complete sway over you so dear mufat khors who are listening to chhota hafta kuch seekh ke zara subscribe karo and subscribers ramp up your subscription or get involved in nl sena project we have a new one which i will just tell you about but before that let me introduce the panel on the panel today all the way from mumbai in the blue corner weighing 184 pounds 6 feet for no sorry wrong Govind Raj Ithiraj <laughs> who is none of those things financial journalist founder and managing trustee of indiaspend.com he was uh, on the founding team of CNBC am i right govind yeah one of the early members yes and also of bloomberg tv yes yes tv in india yeah and now you have recently launched uh, factchecker.in it's a fact checking platform and you are joining us from bombay and you are a journalist with some 20 20 years of experience i don't know to say but it's more than that <laughs> oh dear so do you consider yourself a journalist still govin or do you consider yourself uh, a journalist first journalist first always journalist first you have not yes. become management like me yes <laughs> <laughs> okay fine okay also in our delhi studio anand ranganathan hello anand hello manisha pande hi and madhu will be joining us shortly but before we give you a list of what all we'll discuss I just have a couple of quick announcements to make. This podcast is produced by Karthik Nijhavan. Thank you Karthik and recorded by Anil. Thank you Anil. And um we have a new NL Sena project underway but before that uh, Manisha you want to give us a quick update not too much detail on the Murthal uh NL Sena project was topped up um a lot of dead ends on a let yeah, explain I've how difficult having... it is to do a story which no one wants to tell. Uh, yeah, it's been quite it's been a little tough a eh, because of the nature of the story it's it's a really it's a story where it, all major protagonists are really jaded they have spoken to media n number of times they're very rehearsed so it's very difficult to get anything new and or, to tell who's telling the truth and who's yeah, not yeah everything is very rehearsed and very coached so you will be getting to the b- bottom of it soon okay. uh yeah so it's been a little difficult but i'm going to uh uh I'm going to give myself a proper deadline to this and finish this as soon as uh, next month. Yes, because you see with something like a rape the the ideas to investigate did they happen or did they not happen because the two sides. And it's very difficult because some villagers say no such thing happened and they will say that because they don't want badnami of the village. Most of them are say, have said that with the trips that I went most of them like I said it's very coached and rehearsed. They But know the line. But there are some yeah. people in which we cannot reveal who are certain it happened for x y z reasons yeah. and where the truth lies between is what manisha is trying to find out also we have a new nl sena project up and i do hope you will contribute to that you may have seen our earlier report tr vivek did a fantastic report which manisha actually helped uh, help produce with the whole design on the kaveri uh, water he uh, issue he traveled uh, up river or down river that upstream would be upstream of upstream. kaveri in karnataka and now he wants to do part 2 which will be the tamil nadu side it shows kaveri chronicles uh, it's an expensive thing to do it takes 2 weeks to do all that travel 2 to 3 weeks then another week to write and put all those notes together so and do think yeah i mean if you haven't read kaveri part 1 you must read it and that will really uh, encourage you to wait for kaveri part 2 we wait I did a fabulous job with Kaveri. Yes. And the illustrations really, were just that, illustrations Yeah, Anish's illustrations are amazing. And he's really he's a real joy to read. His reports are really 
they're really uh, amazing so mufat khors you also guys get involved so uh, govin we'll start with you quickly i'll just tell you what all we'll discuss and you can tell me what you want to start with since you are the guest well this i've added republic is passe times now is officially the loony in the house their coverage of everything touch the newlo every day and each time i turn it on yeah. i fall off my bed and uh, my parents <laughs> have got addicted to mirror now oh, uh, which is a great. new hot channel then uh, prime minister modi today has said at the sabarmati ashram if i'm not wrong about condemning gorakshaks and it is not okay to kill people in the name of gor bhakti i am dissatisfied with this speech i will tell you why and we will like to hear the panel's views on this as well government decides to sell air india high five govin yes, all you absolutely. bombay types are you jumping around no no not jumping I, you know one of the first things and which is why i said i want to talk on this subject is uh, because one of the first things i did uh, in my journalism career was uh, as a, i mean that of a uh, aviation journalist or i was an aviation reporter hmm so at uh, at a time when uh, air india was just about the only player in town and then some of the other private players started coming in so i have I have a attachment to this subject and uh, also uh, desire that air india be sold as quickly as possible okay just did you choose that beat because you would get free coupons we did not get free coupons those days <laughs> that became later <laughs> closer to the neera radia age of benefit <laughs> three days the neera radia age so that's how old i am to answer your earlier question dude i actually thought you were in your like mid 30s you have completely <laughs> तो तुमने मेरी आंखें खोल दी या या यूथ स्कूल स्टडी में ना मिड थर्टीज वुड बी यू अभिनंदन राइट मिड थर्टीज वुड बी मी वेल नो आई एम ओनली फोर्टीज बट एनीवे द मीडिया कांट क्वेश्चन मोदी नॉट इन इंडिया नॉट इन यूएस एंड नाइदर कैन ट्रंप बी क्वेश्चन देयर जॉइंट कॉन्फ्रेंस डेंट हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस आई बिलीव वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ईच साइड एन इंडियन जर्नलिस्ट एंड यूएस जर्नलिस्ट अ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पुलिस ऑफिसर लिंचड आउटसाइड श्रीनगर मॉस्क आई सॉ सम वीडियोस ऑफ दैट गास्टली एक्ट आई मीन इट वाज शॉकिंग and it just shows how depraved uh, mobs can be then us names hizbul mujahideen chief salahuddin a global terrorist lekin pakistan ke kaan pe jeun bhi nahi rengi four people arrested for junaid's lynching uh, two of them are employees of delhi jal board or one of them is an employee of delhi jal board oh, if i'm yeah. not wrong uh, and of course times now carried that as killings were led by delhi government jal board like what the fuck does that mean oh like? my god really yeah do you have to see the tweets and they try to twist it ki sala yeah delhi government pe chep and these guys are suspects also let's not just say it's yeah. being led by yeah. delhi jal board what these are suspects uh, no and it's and the tweet made it sound like it's an official ki jal board sat around acha is baar pani kaam bhejna kahin nahi pehle zara maar dete hain do logo fir pani ki dekhi jayegi matlab times now gone mad just responsible meera kumar files nomination papers as opposition presidential candidate so that's how you know if i have a thing getting. to say about that i think i didn't like what shushma swaraj did what did she do denigrating meera kumar by putting that video out okay i miss this anand yeah. we'd like to hear more about that uh, hundreds beat up a muslim man in jharkhand and set a thousand fire after finding a dead cow outside i saw the videos of this also patani how the police are so scared of civilians they should come and take tips from delhi police delhi golf club asks meghalaya woman wearing traditional dress to leave for looking like a maid and i would like to tell our viewers many people who i know ask me so what's the problem so just so any of you listeners think that we are very evolved society there are enough people around us who think that's not a problem so fuck you guys too 86% dead in cow related violence since 2010 11 are muslim this is uh, this is uh, uh, govind raj's india spent peace and i saw anand has caused a consternation on twitter with his own oh data dear. set so we'll go anand and govind can share their details uh, their data and uh, manisha's piece let's be clear junaid khan's murder is a hate crime very nice piece manisha so sorry for that long monologue go govind what do you want to start with the sale or the the killings or the trump visit you modi visit yeah so i'll stick to the business part so let me focus on air india which i said i would hmm. uh i think uh, i think there are two or three issues here i think the first of course is that uh, air india is a is an airline that was once in private hands that was nationalized and has been driven to the ground largely because of poor management and i do distinguish between ownership and management here if right. you look at uh, and let me digress a little bit along those lines if you look at ownership in the case of let's say the public sector oil companies or even a com- uh, even an organization like maruti suzuki which uh, subsequently got a majority acquired by suzuki and the government still as a stake uh, if you look at companies like that they've also had people from the government or the civil services running it 
but they were always people who came in at a certain level and then rose up the organization to take up let's say leadership positions and they were unwell so, that's what you're saying yeah they were unwell so i think uh, the problem with air india has been that because of uh, very bad i mean it's so first of all airline is a f- consumer facing business unlike oil companies and unlike oil companies which are also let's say government held in this country I, i'm only trying to anticipate some arguments that uh, let's say some viewers might have saying that you know if oil companies can be run by the government then why can't an airline because airline is completely consumer facing it's a very high marketing intensive you have to keep engaging with the consumer keep off offering the consumer freebies or deals or uh, incentives to come on board uh, you know and respond in a way that is really ahead of competition and life has really changed in the last 20 years ever since uh, uh, the other private airlines have come in and who in turn are responsible to shareholders so air india has sort of run obviously as a as a sort of arm of the government keeping uh, people in government happy by uh, you know offering let's say the flexibility of uh carriage uh maybe uh, deals which i'm not saying these of, are unofficial of, of or first official, class but, tickets or yeah. if certain reports to be believed praful patel you know got entire aircrafts rerouted to suit his daughter's schedule um that was i think a time piece if i remember correctly yes i saw that report yeah so that's and and i thought, i mean I, as a as how, like i said as a as a financial journalist i i tend to look at two or three aspects why do companies do badly right so in this case i mean in air india you, you while you can there are many reasons for it i think that the biggest fear failure is really the fail government's failure to appoint good quality leadership and successively i think there was a small period where uh, yogi deveshwar who who then subsequently left and went back to itc and became chairman was running it where people saw a glimmer of hope this was in the 90s but uh, that was just about it otherwise uh, air india has had successive uh, bad leadership and each sort of leadership tenure has resulted in the airline uh, you know doing worse than before no, but and j- just anand recently caused a twitter storm on this Did I? data uh, <laughs> which actually that is one of the uh, you know complaints i had with that data i don't know whether you did it knowingly or unknowingly that you had initially consolidated data of lynchings for the past you know decade uh, and saying that this is in response to us being lynched in linchistan on just two years this thing but then that was used to counter not in my name it became about everything which for me was very problematic and i think that's easy to explain why but coming to just data what does data tell us govin since you run a data site and while i yeah, understand so the sanctity of data so one is factchecker.in which you mentioned when we also run boomlive.in or boom which is basically about busting fake news which is a more recent initiative and i think you're somewhat familiar with it so uh, Yeah so in the case of India Spend and that particular story I mean the method method you know if you look at NCRB data which everyone does it only gives two classifications for violence one is under uh, apart from the other classifications uh, in this it, it says under uh, communal and caste caste based violence so uh, caste based is obviously violence in between within castes so maybe higher caste to lower caste to lower caste to higher caste and the other is communal the data itself doesn't say anything more and uh, to that extent you can't form any conclusion so what this study does is obviously looks at the only other available set of information which is uh, news reports going back to a certain period and tries to collate and tries to collate in a reasonably neutral way saying you know it didn't start by saying or knowing that how many people the people who killed from came from which community or from which state or so on and i do believe that uh, i mean states uh, i mean it may be let's say x amount of uh, a certain amount of violence happened in bjp states and certain amount happened in non bjp states but when i look at other uh, reports that we've done or others have done i wouldn't ascribe too much uh, at least at, at current at, at this point weightage to which party is ruling the state i think some of these problems uh, or uh, challenges are really span across the country and if they've had, it's been a problem in some states it's been there for many decades and it doesn't sort of necessarily correlate with the government in state the local government in part uh so first of all anand tell us about what you did with that data which okay so and what were you trying to prove so i know exactly because it's been used for everything now <laughs> and i i other than the limited point if you were making that you can't call Lin- india linchistan because of these four things mm-hmm. fine i mean i'm not pro against it but it's a point but to use that data to say that there's nothing wrong with anything or any government i think that i can easily so you know there are thing. three things to this so let me uh, divide the issue in three parts the first one is the linchistan thing the second i would come to the mob violence and the third the india spend article 
uh, you know, so dividing it into three parts. Uh, but first of all, the uh, let me uh, you know just say that uh, it is it is it has been very distressing to even use the word lynching, because you know it immediately brings to mind the the race violence that happened in America and lynching has primarily been always used in that context. You know, so the images are of people hanging from trees and you know things of that sort. Now we are at a stage where we using routinely using mob violence. Um, as and calling them lynching. So, you know, this also uh, needs to be clarified. So when I'm talking of only data, please do not uh, feel that I'm, you know, uh, I've detached myself so much that, uh, you know, I've become totally non-emotional to the tragedy that is happening. I think that's very important because when you're talking data, you know, you're just using lynching as hmm. uh, an object or an incident. No, but for data's sake, let's... So the first point was about Lynchistan. Now, um, on 22nd and 23rd of June, uh, two lynchings, let me, I'll call it lynching or incidents, two incidents happened, one of Junaid and the other of Pandits in Kashmir. Hmm. And Shekhar Gupta commented on one, which was Junaid Singh, and he was the one who coined it and subsequently it was peddled by a lot of people, Lynchistan, yeh Lynchistan, meri jaan, meri jaan, okay? That kind of irked me and uh, I have a history with this because I, you know, uh, uh, I think two years ago uh, when that NDTV uh, documentary on the, the rape, Nirbhaya rape thing was the, the going on, somebody, I can't remember the name, Indian Express Journal, maybe Praveen Swami, he said Indian culture is rape culture. Hmm. So then also I kind of, you know, it's distressing because when you label a, a country, when you say it is Lynchistan, so now based on a dozen odd incidents, you are actually labeling a state as Lynchistan. So the uh, how do you disprove that? You disprove that, that have you called Lynchistan, India Lynchistan before? Have there been lynchings happened before? So that part of data hmm. was exclusively to prove this point that in 2013, 2014, okay. there were as not many, if not more lynchings, there were communal caste-based lynchings, there were lynchings by Muslim mobs. So you did not call Lynchistan then, hmm. you're calling it now. Okay, hmm. So th that is the limited point of that data. Hmm. How people have used it, that's a different matter altogether. Hmm. Now let's come to the second point, and, uh, which is of mob violence hmm. and of India spent peace. Hmm. Now, in this case, you see in, in science... Sorry, if I may just come please, in, you know, please, so yeah. we can go... Sure. After that, let's go Madhu. While I get what you're saying, because that was your first tweet, going forward, I found it veered into the zone, and I think you also either retweeted or liked some of those bits where the not-in-my-name protest was being, including our own columnist and my friend Sushant Sareen, that the not-in-my-name, uh, you know, protests, that this is a you know, another fatura which is being lifted, which also you endorsed. Now, that I have a problem with. And I'll tell you why, and we've had this disagreement before. And you said that, you know, did uh, race crimes a higher in Obama's time? And mm. I tweeted this also because I saw a lot of people using that data to dismiss anything else to do with this government. Now, for example, like often you've said, so what if a spokesperson said? The job of a spokesperson is to give the parties position. That's what they're speaking. They're speaking the party's position. So when BJP spokesperson sat and defended a Clark's killers, or when a government, uh, 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 he is, you know, a Clark's killers who died for other reasons, his body was wrapped in a tricolor and a minister went and attended. And you had people like Sambit Patra. It? The minister wrapped it in tricolor? No. The people the there, people he themselves. went and, you know, gave Shraddhanjali Arpitki. It was obviously a political move. I mean, let's not pretend it wasn't. I okay. think the the, it, the story, little bit, if I may say so, hmm. because this has been used quite a lot, hmm. you know, they're saying that a minister hmm. goes. Hmm. Uh, of course, the guy is an absolute issue. I mean, if I was the prime minister, I would have sacked him that day itself. Hmm. But he is the MLA or MP of that constituency. Fair and enough. the people, uh, the family members of the deceased were actually protesting. They were on a dharna that we will not uh, cremate this person unless the minister comes okay, because he is being killed that, in police but, but custody. What saying, okay, even if I I'm to, just saying. Yeah, even if I have to grant that, what I'm trying to explain to you is so that we don't pick up individual. All this is happening in a larger context of the kind of... Th utterances of a spokesperson, the kind of thing Sangeet Som said, including today Prime Minister's speech, who hasn't said that eating beef is okay. He's saying problem here, but violence is not the answer. So what he's saying is killing cows is a problem. So you got to sort it out. Just don't kill people. For, one yeah. sec. In this context, data is irrelevant. What I'm saying is now the whole debate has become about data. Like, like I said, there is no data to assume that 
there have been more incidents of men grabbing women's pussy after Donald Trump's utterances were made public and he said what he said about Kelly and Conway she's bleeding from here there everywhere but do i understand why women had a march after that yes i get it because there is a tacit endorsement of that behavior and that is clear especially with the history of the bjp so when data becomes and this whole mahol data mahol data you know binary is in my view it's like you know gobhi is you know sabzi is very nice because the sky is blue no there's no correlation with you know, i can be carrying gobhi today and the sky may be blue it's got nothing to do with the other it's a very different argument and to reduce that into data is the problem i had and too many commentators from the right are doing this too often sunli africa mufat khoro not to brag or anything but news laundry hafta features in the top 50 in the world on soundcloud in the news and politics category for podcasts so do subscribe and see what you're missing because when the public pays the public is served when advertisers pay advertisers are served subscribe help keep news independent and free all news laundry podcasts are available on itunes and stitcher and any other podcast platform